The most interesting preserved uh, fourth style wall is also in the House of the Vedii. It is in the Ixion room of the House of the Vedii. We believe it dates to 70 to 79. It is our, you know, an example of full-blown fourth style at its most <coughs> incredible. And you know, it's almost as if this artist wanted to be remembered for posterity. We don't know his name, unfortunately, but remembered for posterity as the person who created the textbook example of fourth style Roman wall painting. And what's fascinating about it is what he has done is he has mixed together all of the earlier styles. First, second, third, fourth. First, we see the sockle down here is decorated. It's all done in paint, but it is painted to represent marble or to imitate marble incrustation, just as we saw in the first style. So the marble incrustation of the first style used for the sockle, but again in paint, not in relief. The second tier, we see the substantial columns supporting uh, lintels and entablatures with uh, with um, uh, coffered ceilings represented in depth. That's a second style element. Third style, these uh, panels red with uh, mythological paintings in the center uh, with frames. And over here, a white panel with floral decoration and floating mythological figures. Those are elements of the third style. And the fourth style, reintroduction of architecture in the central zone, fragments of architecture, not full buildings, fragments of architecture depicted in illogical space. Uh, and then in the uppermost tier, uh, these, architect these architectural cages uh, with, uh, peopled with all kinds of strange figures, animals, uh, divinities, uh, personifications, and the like. So all of those four styles brought together in one place. Here's another view, one that perhaps gives you an even better sense, not of everything I've described, but of the overall appearance of this room as one walks into it. It's actually a very small room, uh, but it gives you the sense of grandiosity. And this is interesting, too, because you see in this case, the artist has kind of matched up uh, the, I mean, he's, he's represented two very similar fragments, one on either side, that in a sense, as you stare at it, gives you the sense, or at least it gives me the sense, that perhaps maybe there is something that continues behind the wall or behind the central mythological panel picture that you see here. But this is quintessential, quintessential fourth style Roman wall painting.